guys, it's Ashley here for a makeup tutorial. It's been so long since I've done one. And this one is gonna be super fun because um, uh, it reminded me of fall. We're not really in fall where I live. I live in Arizona. And pretty much it's like brown or like green. And there's like no in between. More, more different shades of brown. But if I lived in a place where there would be all sorts of different fall colors, gold would definitely be one of them because I have seen pictures of trees that have more than one color. And yeah, gold is definitely part of them. Um, so I'm doing, it goes from gold to brown to, to black. So it's like a golden brown black fall smoky eye. And so I'm really excited. I used a lot of products that I've been dying to use. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to prime the eyes. And what I'm going to be priming my eyes with is the Urban Decay um, Potion Primer in Sin. And this just has a little bit more of like a champagne color to it. I didn't want, I wanted something with a little bit more depth to it. And really, you only need like seriously, like the smallest little dab. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to apply just a little bit of that to your eye, just right here, all over. I'm taking my my Mac my Mac 239 with just a small um, just like a small padded brush. You're just gonna take that and go ahead and dab it in Max Carbon, which is just this one right here. And we're going to go ahead and just get that on the outside corner just like that. We're going to kind of stamp it. And you don't want to go any higher than your crease right here. So I'm just barely getting it into my crease just like that. And then I'm only going into the outer the outer like third of my eye. Then you can go as dark or as light as you want. Obviously I'm using black and so I want this to be a little bit of a more smokier effect. Next you're going to take a large shader brush and this is my Sigma E55 and then I'm going to take this color by MAC and it's called Mulch and it's kind of like a dark um, uh, brown but it has some shimmer to it and then you're just going to gently put that right in the middle right there right in the middle of your eye and just kind of go back and forth between the two and just kind of get that in an even amount of color on there. This is um, one of my new brushes. It's a Smashbox um, and it's a definer brush. It's definitely more pointed right right here and it's um, I'm going to use it in my crease. And the color that I'm going to be using is Mystery by MAC and it's, it's a matte brown and it's definitely, it's very dark. It's kind of like, almost like a chocolate brown. And you're going to find your crease and you're just gonna, going to start defining your crease right here on the um, outer two-thirds and just kinda pressing it right in there and getting into your crease. Okay, and now here comes the fun part where it starts all coming together. This is my MAC 217 brush. It's a great brush for um, um, blending for, for my eye shape and the color that I'm going to use is actually from the Urban Decay palette um, and it's called Naked right here and it's just it's a great color for that's like a shade darker than my skin tone um, and then I'm at first I'm just going to put it right here in my inner corner right here You're going to kind of go a little bit into that mulch color, that shimmery brown. And then you're also going to dab it into that color again and just tap off the excess and then this is where you're going to start really blending. So you're going to turn it to the side and you're going to start going over that, that dark brown, that mystery color that we did and start really blending those colors together. And then while we're here, um, I'm going to take um, NYX's um, Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and I'm just going to lightly trace 
my brow and do my inner corner. I'm not doing it a lot, just a little bit. And not that one. I'm gonna take my large shader, this is an E60, and just gonna start blending that milk color in. And then and with the my... same brush, I'm going to take my highlighter highlighter shade and I'm using Shroom by MAC. And it's just a really pretty um, kind of shimmering cream, nothing too, too light, but just a, a little bit to go over that milk color. And then dab a little bit more of that into your inner corner, just to brighten and lighten up the eyes. The next step I'm gonna use, or I'm gonna do, is I'm taking my Stila Icajal in Onyx, and I'm gonna line my waterline. This is just gonna intensify the look. And then do your upper. Um. Next is one of my favorites. I love, absolutely love um, liquid eyeliner. <laughs> I've loved it since I was in ninth grade. And I'm using um, L'Oreal's Carbon Black Eyeliner. And we're just gonna make a small, thin line. We don't want anything too heavy. And we're just going to wing it out right here. Just like that. And here comes the super fun part. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take, um, this is from MAC, and it's their Crushed Metallic Pigments. And I'm going to be using this gold right here, and that's where you're seeing the gold part in my inner corner. And we're just going to do it on the inner corner of our eyes. Um, I'm taking a tiny bit of this um, glitter glue just to make the metallic pigment stick a little bit more. We want it to last the whole night. Just putting a tiny bit on my MAC 242 brush. Looks just like that. I'm just dabbing it right where I'm going to want the pigment. I just dip, I'm just going to dip it a little bit into the metallic pigment. And then I'm using the lid just so I don't get too much. And then I'm going to start dabbing it on. And we're also going to get our lower eye as well. Kind of sweep that in. Dramatic eye. So I'm just using um, my Ardell's and they're in the number 110. So that's what I'm going to be using. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and apply my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so the last thing that you're going to do too is you're going to take that mulch and you're going to just take a... Um, just a flat brush, just like this, okay, flat brush, and you're going to take it into that mulch color again, okay, and you're going to go ahead and sweep that underneath your, um, your lashes, and I already put mascara on, so that was kind of dumb of me to do that, but you're just going to go ahead and do that just to give it a little bit more depth so it's not just the black underneath there, the black and the gold. So you just kind of sweep that. Okay, so there. that is it for the eyes and I'm gonna show you what I did on the rest of my face. Okay, so what I applied um, for the rest of my face is um, I did a little bit of bronzing and contouring on my cheekbones and I used um, the NARS Duo Bronzer or the NARS bronzer in Laguna. 
And I just took a small brush just like this and kind of went right along or underneath my cheekbones and then just underneath my chin and right at my temples, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and then what I put on my cheeks is Max Blush in Peaches. It looks like that. And um, my favorite brush is my Sigma Large Angled Contour. It's the F40. You just dab that in there. I already have some on, but I'll go ahead and put some more on. What I really love about this blush is you can do you can do quite a bit and it's not like bam, wow, oh my gosh, she has a ton of blush on. Um and the last thing, one of the last things that I did was um I have my Soft Fusion Lights from Smashbox in Baked Stardust. And I just dabbed it on there. Got my the bridge of my nose. Right around the tips of my cheekbones. And if you really want to get fancy schmancy, you can take a small a small brush that's clean because that would just be really not fun if you didn't get a clean one and you can just kind of swirl it around in this color right here and then you can just get right here your cu cupids your cupids bob <laughs> I have the hardest time talking seriously right there kind of just lightens it up and makes your lips look more luscious and appealing. You know, for my husband I have to make my lips look luscious and appealing. And then last but not least as far as my lips go, I'm using Kat Von D's um, Celebutard. Say that. That's a fun word. And it's definitely a matte color. It's more of a pinky nude. I really like my nude colors and when I'm doing such a dark eye, I really like to pair it up with um, soft light lips. So that's it for my fall gold, golden brown, black, smoky eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know what to do. Make every day beautiful and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.